Okay, so you want to game with your friends on a PC, but you're on a budget and can't spend $1,000, $2,000 for a gaming computer, but you just want to play something like Fortnite or something easy to run like World of Warcraft. So for this situation, I was able to find a computer very cheap, $65. But it's not what you think. It is one of these. It is a Dell Opticlitz 5050. It comes with an i5-5700 and eight gigs of RAM, no drive. Somebody gave it to me for $65. They're actually everywhere on Facebook Marketplace or eBay, the, um, and the prices may vary. Um, with this, I am gonna accompany it with a Cooler Master 750 watt power supply that I got for $35 off Facebook Marketplace because Facebook Marketplace is apparently somewhere you can get really cool stuff for really cheap. Next, I need a drive for this computer, so I picked up this $17 120 gig PNY SSD for this desktop. Now, as for the graphics card, obviously it's not a gaming computer unless it has dedicated graphics, right? And running off the processor graphics alone is not gonna be really good for anybody and playing multiplayer games or anything like that. So, we picked this up, an EVGA 1660 Super right out of eBay for $125. Now, I know what you're thinking, how the heck am I gonna stick this thing in there when it's just, it doesn't work, right? So we're actually not. Here's the, here's the catch. You know that thing with mining that happened a while back last year or the year before? Uh, well, there's a whole bunch of these everywhere for cheap. Anywhere from $2 to $6, we paid $4 for ours. Um, we're actually going to be running this graphics card externally from the machine, the power supply externally from the machine. Um, yeah, let's put it together and see how good or bad this works. In case you haven't been doing the math, that's about $246, give or take a little bit on tax, so that may, that's, that's under $250 right now. So if this worked, for, for under $250, I can actually play with my friends now. Okay, so for this to work, I forgot to mention that you're actually gonna need one of these jumpers. Now, power supplies usually come with one of these, at least the newer ones do. The um, graphics card and the riser are gonna be all powered by the power supply here. The power supply in the computer is gonna go ahead and continue powering on the rest of the computer. Uh, you already see I have my SSD already in there. I already have Windows installed, so let's go ahead and plug everything in the way it's supposed to be. So the graphics card is gonna go into the riser just like that. Then the riser is going to go into one of the X16 slots or the X16 slot that it's on the board itself. Now we're gonna take a PCIe 8 pin from the power supply, plug it into our graphics card. And we're gonna take the six pin PCIe and plug it into the riser. Which that's gonna be all the way down here. Now the monitor HDMI is gonna go into the graphics card. And last but not least, we're gonna plug in the power to our power supply. And then the jumper onto the 24 pin on the power supply. Super messy wiring, but that's okay. We're actually looking for functionality, not looks. Uh, so turning on the power supply switch. Power supply is on which gives power to the riser and gives power to the graphics card. So now we'll turn on the computer. Okay, so at this point I was actually experiencing a lot of stuttering and often freezing. And I was trying to figure out what the heck was happening because it would just work fine for a few seconds and then out of nowhere it would just start freezing and then for like five or six seconds and then it would come back and then start working again. Okay. If you actually do this, what I've what I've noticed with my setup, I got a lot of stuttering and freezing when I plugged it into the X16, the, the buy one by X16. But when I plugged it into the X4, the Ryzen the X4, the stutter was gone. So something to keep in mind. It's not just gonna flawlessly work. <laughs> so now that I've made that change on the riser placement the game just worked. Um, I mean, obviously you will have these like um, little stutters here and there, but you're able to actually play now, you're able to go against people. It is just like playing the game. Um, I don't really know why the X16 caused that issue. Uh, I, I mean, you're you're literally going from X16 to, to X4. I could have probably gone into BIOS and changed the slot to um, an X4 itself. 
um, but just easily unplugging it and plugging it back into the X4 worked just fine for me. So this is definitely playable. Um, and for $246 later, this is not that bad. So is it playable? Yes. Does it work? Yes. Is it cheap? Yes. So it checks off those marks. Is there better options? Of course there are. It all depends on what you have access to. Um, but if you have a small form factor computer out there uh, that you kind of just want to stick a graphics card in, but you are like, it doesn't fit because in this one, it doesn't fit. And the, the PCIe 16 slot was all the way at the bottom. So there was no way to get one in there anyways. Um, there's another option and it works and you're, it allows you to play. So yeah. So anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that share button um, and just go out there and experiment. I mean, that's all you can. All right, take care of yourself and take care of your families. Bye. See you on the next one.